there's one of those things that Bill Staines sings on there, which I like so much, and I almost feel like putting it, lettering it on the margin of this picture. And his song is October Winds Have Come to Town, Summers Or. Summer or summers are go gone, and I, and I think of that every time I look at this watercolor. But mm -hmm. I, I think I'm getting a wonderful feeling of light now. Yeah, I, that's very nice. And this is the big one of what you see upstairs. And but I'm thinking of darkening some more, putting in some more dark clouds. And this is Payne's Creek. I went up there after the storm, and I could see it, it was high tide. So it wasn't just a little stream. I got a heavy boat park there and whatnot. So uh, these are going to go into a show. I have a show coming up in April, from April to July, mm -hmm. in uh, the, the little museum on 6 a.m. Sandwich. Mm -hmm. The Burroughs Museum. This is where they have the uh, the jelly kitchen and everything. They, and they got they've been putting about a hundred thousand dollars in this whole museum. And I'm mm -hmm. gonna have a show. These Great. are things which I did quickly in California as fast as I could. <laughs> and it you know they're just little sketches, but I like the way they turned out. Mm -hmm. And. I did this thing about three times. I couldn't stand it, so I got so goddamn mad. Bang, 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 bang. I tore into this it. This one. And yeah. it worked. How about this one over here? Oh, that was when Dale, Glenn, they, we all went painting. And this is Payne's Creek mm -hmm. from the other way. When, so when did you do that one? This is done in uh, the spring, I think. Mm -hmm. And this here, coming around here, mm -hmm. is this same stream here. Oh, okay. Huh. And that's, that's, that's very nice. And yeah. it sort of echoes your, your yeah. little uh, boat that you did in the 40s. Yeah. So, I, and then wh where is, oh, is that out in California, the sand dunes, I see? Yeah, there I've been experimenting with uh, trying to... Uh, it, there's three pictures there, just experimenting. Mm. And the reason I put the mats around them, it, I can look at it as they finish picture, although they're not really, they're just sketches. Mm -hmm. But, uh, now, this also, this is going to go in the show. I like that. Right? And there's another one that you had that I photographed that was just yeah. a sketch, I think, this but very nice. This is going to go in the show. Mm -hmm. Along with this old one here. Yeah. I'm not trying to be a lighthouse painter. It's just the fact that the thing that makes me mad. Up in space, you look at the continental United States. On Earth, we look at a map and camp of Belo de Key West. You say it's a beautiful coastline. Go out with your little watercolor set to try and paint. Every 150 feet of the American coastline is in private ownership with signs like, beware of the dog, keep out, private, no trespassing. And the only place you can get near the water is the Coast Guard stations. <laughs> oh, here's something I'm trying to do. You know, this business here, I call this the Steel Cathedral, mm -hmm. the railroad bridge. I didn't like the way this turned out. Terrible. So I redrew it. And this is the next watercolor I'm going to tackle. And this right here, rather than delineate it, I'm going to use a broad brush and work on slightly dampened paper so that I can get the mood, the shape, the feeling of this thing without making an architectural rendering. That's what I don't want to do. I don't want an architectural rendering. I want an artistic, almost emotional feeling of looking at this steel structure. Because I went down there, and I, at, this is the end of the canal. And I went down there to, uh, just looking around, and my God, I drove my car right up by these tracks and I looked at the windshield, wham! 
this thing just soared up in front of me and it just that's the feeling I want to get when I paint this mm -hmm. I'm going to put a figure in here like a biker you know he's bicycle looking at it. so he, your eye enters here and you get a feeling of scale if you see the figure along with the finished thing mm -hmm. Weston? yeah Oh, I know Carter wants a turkey sandwich. You want egg salad or turkey? Egg salad. I knew it. You knew it. Okay. Watch that. Now, you saw that horse you brought me. <laughs> I'm going to do something with this. What I'm going to do with a horse is this. I'm going to enlarge that tail to come out fan-like. Mm -hmm. It will echo this fan-like thing up here. Mm -hmm. and I think we'll balance it out better. So, I and then I'd like to carve it. I might carve this out of mahogany or something. I want to get the texture of the, uh, you know, the, um, to see a beautiful pattern in the wood. And it's not going to be painted, it'll just be left in the raw wood. So, this is something for the, I'll get to later. By the way, I'm back on my horses again. What I'm doing here, Carter. Oh, this one's very nice. You've been, oh, you haven't seen this guy. Right. Okay. Now, here's the difference. This horse was made according to this pattern. Uh -huh. And then I thought, well look, it's just a nice horse. Yes, it's accurate. I know my anatomy now. The horse is accurately done, but it's just a horse. Now what I'm going to do, I tore the head off and I raise the leg like this. You see it? Uh -huh. I'm going to do this with a neck. What I'm trying to sculpt her now is here I try to do the horse, here I'm modeling power and I'm using a horse to show the power. So I'm not trying to be as anatomically dead on accurate as I was here. Over here I want the feeling of force. So this is an artistic interpretation. This is, this is power and that's what I want to get. So this horse is going to, um, I'm reworking him, adding more clay onto him, mm -hmm. and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Hmm. Great. Wow. Oh, boy. Work, work, work.